So we got to the final big climb of the day. This happened. Vincenzo Nibali attacking, looking fairly good as well. Didn't look like to be the attacks that we saw at the Giro d'Italia, which seemed like they were for the cameras and to show he was still fighting. He looked like he had genuine form. Final result, I think, proved that as well. Coming in with some of the best behind. And this is where Pogacar saw the move, followed the move, but he very quickly found himself alone. 36 and a half kilometers to go. 500 meters up the road, here he'd be, alone. And despite a raft of domestiques still left, building his advantage. Masnado was working hard to keep him in check. There'd be a couple wobbles, wouldn't there, on the descent? Masnada would come over the group behind, which were at 25 seconds. He'd then put on the chase himself. Remember that he'd already been dropped here by the other group. So hard had he worked. Almost lost it himself on the way down. But as Pogacar extended the gap to the group behind, Masnada would reach him. 15.9 kilometers to go when there was contact. Masnada suddenly dreaming, initially wanting to ride, then being told not to. These guys started to ride. Suddenly they fell out. That did for them. And it would be two to contest the finish in the northern city of Bergamo. Once they fell out behind, they were attacking each other. And it looked increasingly unlikely that they would get back into the game. And the local boy from Bergamo did try his luck. He had to at some point, didn't he, in front of his fans. In the end, it came down to a sprint. Masnada doing all he had to do, all he could do. Ogacha with the Palmares, with the record with the ability and the strength to the line to finish it off. Making history and joining a very, very select group of greats. First man to win the Tour in Lombardy since 79.